You know, it's never easy to win in this league. Uh, and I thought Vermont played a really hard game and uh, forced us out of our game, especially in the first period. And we were fighting the puck and, and just not uh, – they did a good job taking us out of our game, and we had to kill four penalties. That's the most penalties I think we've had to kill in a period all year long. Uh, I was happy with the way we responded in the second and, and third period, I thought. With the exception of, uh, you know, our power play, we had some good chances. I didn't think it was still as crisp, and I didn't think the pace was where it should be. But uh, other than that, I, I was happy that we, we stayed with the game plan and found a way to get two points tonight. Yeah, you know, <clears throat> we have some warriors back there. Adam Karashek leads the way. Brian Regali, I think uh, Yakum had a big, big block at one point there. So the stats I'm not concerned with. Uh, it's just, you know, the results. And I think uh, it's a pretty good observation. We did a good job doing that. Uh, six penalties in, in the first period, but then only two after that. Was there a message in that first intermission that you got to play smarter? Yeah. Yeah, we, we can't be taking four penalties a period. We're not going to win many hockey games if uh, we do that. So, uh, And I didn't even really have to <clears throat> say it. Wyatt, Wyatt was the one who took charge between the first period uh, and second period. He took charge and, and let the kids know what his expectations were, and certainly taking four penalties is not how we want to play. Certainly a rough start, but again, a really strong finish, a, a terrific third period, really a great second multiple games in a row where you turn it up and close the game strong. What does it say about your team to finish the way you've been finishing in the stretch? Yeah, I said last week, you know, I really credit Mo Butler. It's her birthday today, which was a nice present for her. Um, as our strength coach, she's got these guys in great shape. She, she does just a phenomenal job. And our players, I think, feel um, very confident that uh, with the way they're playing that as long as we play the right way and we do, you know, we finish our checks and we do all the little things it takes to be successful, that they, they trust in their talent and they trust in the process. It's when you get away from that. And sometimes you get away from it because you're lethar lethargic. Tonight I thought it was just Vermont was just better. They, they took us out of our game in the first period and, and you know, in the parts of the third period too. I thought they fit in pretty well. I thought Kale was very good, uh, has, had a lot of chances. I thought Johnny, uh, you know, he's a really slick player and he's so smart. I thought he was moving well. Um, he was certainly rested, both of them. So I could see tonight their excitement. Now, the challenge is gonna be how they respond and be able to play a game, you know, in, in 16 hours. So that's gonna be the real challenge tomorrow. It's fun to coach because I'm not even worried of, you know, really about line matchups. I trust every line right now. Uh, they, they're all playing very well. So uh, it's fun to coach to be able to just roll lines. It makes my job a lot easier. So, and, and that's the message. If you guys keep, <clears throat> you know, playing that way, it's, it's easy to just put you over the board, you know, the next group over the board. So, and if you're going to be <clears throat> a team that wants to take a long run or a team that wants to be there in March, you better have some depth up and down your line uh, lineup. I think his skill is off the charts. I'd like to see him make the game a little easier on himself at times. Like I don't, I don't need him going through his legs to try to score a goal. I mean, he could just shoot that regular or backhand, but we'll discuss that later. Um, and actually, watching it, you know, uh, I mean, they called it no goal, but. Um, I, I'll, I'll take that play anyway. Kale's going to the net. There was a collision, and that's going to happen. But, you know, I can't control the referee's decisions, but we want to play that way. Sasha assisted on another goal tonight on that yeah, great feed to Yakima. Uh, he already has more assists this year than, than all of last season. <coughs> what, what have you seen from him in regards to just getting more? 
I think, I think he's been one of our best players throughout this stretch. And the reason why is if you watch that shift, I mean, he's flying into the zone. And when he's skating and when he's powerful and he keeps the puck outside on his hip and he takes defenders wide, he's really hard to stop. Uh, and, and if you've been watching him closely, his skating has been phenomenal. And uh, he had some great chances. He rang one off the bar uh, on a good feed from Justin Howell. That five on three, he, I don't know, like, credit Lekas, he made a ridiculous save on that one-timer that Sasha had. And he made a super play to Yakum on the, on the game-winning goal. So he, he's been, you know, I, I said to the team, all four of our seniors through this whole stretch, like Ben Freeman makes a really, really nice play on Vlad's goal. Uh, Wyatt's solid every single night. Justin Howell, I mean, he made the same play to Sasha earlier in the period. It just rang off the bar. Uh, he's been playing dynamite, and um, well, Sasha, Justin, Wyatt, and Freezy have been really, really leading the charge here. Okay. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, guys.